Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to bake a curvature map with Blender and the high poly to low poly baking. This is the project from the previous part in which we baked the normal map and now we bake a map for the curvature with a similar process. This is the low poly mesh with the normal map assigned to the shader. And now we add another image texture node, to that we are going to bake the curvature map. Ok, I press Shift and A to add the node and I connect it to the base color so that I can see it on the low poly mesh when it is baked. After adding the node there is no image, so I create a new one that I call stone curvature. Like for the normal map I set the resolution to 2K and then press the OK button. Ok, and now we have to switch to the high poly object to add a material for this. I press new to add the material, I call it Matte HP and I use this material to visualize the curvature. We don't need the principal shader, we can remove it, but we have to add a so called geometry node. This node has an output named pointiness that we can use in combination with the color ramp to bring out the curvature on the high poly mesh in a grayscale tone. I recommend to activate the Node Wrangler add-on, it comes with Blender, you just have to activate it. It has many features to simplify working with nodes. We just use one here and this is selecting a node and press Ctrl and the Shift key, then just left click and a viewer node is added. With this you can see the effect, but we have to connect it to the pointiness. Okay, first you just see a grey emission, but anyway we have to switch to the render preview mode in the viewport shading, then wait a moment, it's a high poly mesh, but still the pointiness is not good to see and this is where the color ramp node comes into play. So I press shift and A to add the color ramp and then move it between the geometry node and the viewer. Alright, now I bring the black and white slider more together and we get more contrast and the curvature is visible. Very nice, you see the white edges. Now we can play with the settings. And if you like also add a gamma node to control the values. Ok, I think that's a good result for the curvature map that I would like to bake. So as we did for the normal map, I select the texture node that I want to bake to. In the image editor I choose the stone curvature so that I can see the bake result. Then I select the high poly object and after that the low poly mesh with the control key pressed. And then I switch to the render properties, be sure to have cycles for the render engine selected. In the bake section I check selected to active, but for the bake type I select emit. And with this we can press bake now to bake the curvature map. It takes a while, I speed this up a bit and then you see the baked result in the image editor. Here are these white, nice curvature lines and we can hide now the high poly, set the viewport shading to the material preview and here we have the low poly mesh with the curvature and the normal map assigned. At the moment the curvature is just used for the base color but in the next part I will show you how to add a different material for the base color and then use the curvature map as a kind of parameter to control it. So guys I hope you liked the tutorial, if you do then don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions add these to the comments, support me by being my patron, this would be great. And I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.